Good morning students. This class is for class 4, social studies class. And we have already started our first chapter that is the globe, a model of the earth. And in this chapter, today we are going to learn about latitudes and longitudes. The lines running parallel to the equator are called latitudes and are numbered from the equator, which is zero degree. The lines keep decreasing and at the point and at the pole, they are just a point that is 90 degree north or 90 degree south of the equator. The other most important parallel and tropic parallels are Tropic of Cancer at 23 and a half degree north, the Arctic Circle at 66 and a half degree north, and in the south of the Tropic of Capricorn at 23 and a half degree south, and the Antarctic Circle at 66 and a half degree south. Longitudes are circular lines running through the north and south pole. They are also called meridians. These imaginary non-parallel lines are numbered from 0 degree to 180 degree and are all equal in length unlike the latitudes. The prime meridian is 0 degree and runs through Greenwich near London. The longitudes to the east of Greenwich are east longitudes and to the west of to and are west longitudes W. Now we will learn about maps. You all have seen maps, isn't it? There are mainly two types of map, mainly physical map and political map. You have two pictures you see in your book. A physical map picture don't have states in it, lines of state and political map have differentiated into states also. So these are the basic differences. Now we, were, now we will learn about map. A map is a drawing of the whole or a part of the earth's surface on a flat surface like paper. Maps are of various types. Physical map, political map, thematic map. Physical maps show the physical features of the earth like mountains, seas, rivers, etc. Political maps shows the location and extent of countries capital, states, etc. Thematic maps. These maps can be related to the amount of rainfall a place receives, types of crops grow, the type of land, whether it is a desert or a forest, plain or mountain, etc. You know, the first map was made on clay tablets in Egypt about 4000 years ago. Yes, about 4,000 years ago. Now, Atlas, you turn the page. A, a collection of maps in a form of a book is called an atlas. Map show, maps that show small areas in detail, such as streets, houses, rooms, etc. are called plans. After this, you will see how to use a map. Yes, how to use a map. A map has certain components which help us in understanding it. These components are called language of a map. These are directions, colors and symbols, key, scale. Okay, the direction is the most important component of a map as it helps to locate a place easily. All maps shows the four major directions. They are north denoted by N, south denoted by S, east denoted by E and west with W. The top of, of a map is north, the bottom is south, east is to the right of the map and west is to the left. Yes, all maps follow a scheme of color to show different features. For example, water bodies, 
are shown in blue. Plains and lowlands are shown in green. Mountains in brown. Symbols and signs represent capitals, cities, airports, railways, bridges, rivers, etc. A key to a map is usually shown in the lower corner of the map and gives us the meaning of these symbols, signs and colors. It is also called the legends. So here is a table. You go through it. Okay. The size and distance between places on the map is shown by a scale. Map are drawn to scale. A scale gives the ratio of distance between two places in a map and is actually distance on the ground. Actual distance on the ground. For example, one centimeter distance on the map may be represent hundred kilometer on the land. If so if the distance between two places on a map is measured as 2.5 cm, they lie 250 km apart from each other, like this. On a map, we also find lines to draw from squares, which are numbered. These are called grids. They help to locate places on a map easily. Maps have certain advantage over globes. Now we will see both globe and map shows our earth's physical features but both have certain advantage and disadvantages maps certainly have some advantage so what are they maps they are easily easy to carry as they can be folded all places can be seen at the same time unlike the globe which has to be rotated Maps can show small areas in great detail while a globe gives an idea of what the earth looks like. Yes, with this your chapter completes. In our next class we will do the exercises. So you go through the chapter nicely, read it again and again. If you have any problem or doubt anywhere you will ask me. Okay, for today's class this much. Bye-bye.